Well, good morning and welcome to another video with a guy and his projects. Today we are working on this 2001 Ford F-250 V10 6.8 liter gasser, 4x4. Um, we have, I just picked this truck up a few weeks ago, you guys might remember that. Um, We've done a few things to it, you know, we put a different antenna on it because the old one was junk. We've changed the oil, which I don't think I've actually posted a video of that yet, but uh, we've done some things. We've got a few more things to do. We've got to replace the front shocks, replace the front tires, the front springs. Uh, we've got to replace the U-joints uh, for the 4x4 on the, on the axles, the front axles, uh, and uh, a few other things. Uh, we've got, uh, yeah. So, but today what we're doing is replacing the stock mirrors on this thing. These, the, these mirrors come, they're super tiny for such a large size truck and you can't see everything. You can put those little bubbles on. Uh, you can put those little blind spot bubbles on these things to help and they do help dramatically. Uh, these little bad boys here. But overall, the mirror just feels too small. I mean, it looks small on the truck too for that matter. But So we're going to get rid of these. This one's cracked anyway. Um, yeah, spidery. So we're gonna replace those. Uh, I bought some new uh, mirrors. Uh, they're the tow mirrors. I am not sponsored by these folks. Uh, I bought this with my own money. And uh, we're gonna do a review. Uh, we'll do an unboxing of the packaging. And we're going to do a review on the quality and how these work. I'm gonna show you how to install them. I have no idea how to install them. I want to figure it out as we go. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to install them. And then we'll take it on the road, see how much they vibrate, if they vibrate. And I'll throw all that into a good little review. And uh, that's what you're watching right now. So let's get started. So I ordered these off Amazon. They come in a gigantic box. Just gonna pop that open. Oh, it's like Inception. It's a box inside a box. That just makes it more exciting. Oh. Okay, so let's get rid of this crap think because I'm in a garage I'd go grab a knife but you know key works yeah let's grab a knife or scissors scissors works so you can see these are made in China if that's a deal breaker for you then well, that's your problem not mine so these are you probably can't see that but it's the I don't know how they call them motos mutus M-O-T-O-O-S, towing mirrors. Um, the sticker actually says they're for Ford Excursion, 6.8 liter V10. Amazon said it fits my vehicle, so let's hope it fits my vehicle. But the actual part number looks like X001ZCF0UD. All right, so now I got that out of the way. Ah! Holy smokes, I can't open this box for nothing. In fairness, I just visited my optometrist and uh, they gave me some trial prescription or uh, trial contacts to use because we're going to try out some different stuff. So maybe I just can't see straight no more. I don't know. All right. So, initial thoughts on packaging is wow, it looks like it's really good quality. Um, I'm actually so far pretty impressed with the quality of packaging. It's all encased in two boxes and then styrofoams. So let's hope instead of spending all their money on packaging, they actually spent some of it on the mirrors themselves. <laughs> so get rid of that styrofoam. <clears throat> Come in this nice cheesecloth type material. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, these are heavy. This ain't no lightweight mirror. This is this is hefty. So 
They pretty much, they look good unless you look in them. Then they just look flat out ugly. There's some weird dude in the, in the mirror, but whatever. So here you got pretty decent quality. Everything looks nice and machined well. Uh, the styrofoam, I'm guessing, stays there to help absorb vibration. It's got the square plug. There should be the adapter for the round in here. I'm hoping, if I, uh, from the reviews I read, that's what it sounded like, is they come with the round adapter. Because from what I understand, that's what we're gonna use. So we're gonna set that out of the way. Man, that's actually pretty, I like it so far. Holy smokes, look at that. So then, you take that one out and there's another box encased in styrofoam. That's actually, so packaging, I'm giving them an A freaking plus on packaging. Because this is nice. These were only like $115, so they're pretty good price for a uh, good quality, if it turns out they're good quality. The test will be if they fit and once they get on the road. But So this one, same deal. It's inside this cheesecloth type packaging to protect it. I'm gonna pull this down, pull it out. Same deal. The machining all looks pretty good inside. It's got this little styrofoam type material to help with the vibration, I'm guessing. Again, we got the square plug. Set this off to the side. Uh-oh. Okay, I see one adapter. That could be problematic. And I see one package of bolt nuts. Uh, let's check that other box again. Oh, no, I lied, they're right here. Okay, so there's the other adapter and four more nuts. Good, I was a little bit worried for a second. I just missed it. There shouldn't be anything under this styrofoam, but I'm gonna check anyway. Oh, and styrofoam, I didn't notice on the other one, even has a big L for left. So they actually put some thought into dummy proofing this stuff really good. And yes, the other one does say right. So. I don't know how you'd really mess it up, but apparently they felt like somebody did or would, or maybe somebody did. All right. So that's the unboxing. So now I'm gonna show you how to uh, remove the old ones and put these on. And uh, hopefully I can figure that out. Now that we've done the passenger side, we know a thing or two about a thing or two. So on this side, now that we've learned a thing or two, we're gonna do things a little different go ahead and pull this off because that's the same Ugh. pull that out we needed to take this little sticker thing off uh, we need to take the two big grommets off and that just broke dry rot this thing's been in Arizona its whole life so take that one out take the bottom one out boom Okay, so that, we're gonna wait and unbolt this last based off what we learned earlier. Um, and then we're gonna take this bad boy off here. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this is a lot tighter on the driver's side than the passenger side. A couple more wires, but same process. Unplug them. Maybe, if you're lucky, you can. There's two. Ah. Oh shoot, there's my phone. All right, back to work. So that was actually discount tire. My new tires are gonna be here Tuesday. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna use the uh, Milestar Patagonia's mud tires. Oh, I'm pretty excited about it actually. Ah, there we go. So that's out. Boom. These are all free. Got the same bolt right there. Pop that out. Let's see if I can get you guys a different view. There we go. Let's try that. So we got that little sucker coming out. Put that somewhere so you lose it or don't lose it. I don't care. Whatever. Take your reflector out. Probably a little screwdriver would be way better, but I didn't grab one. Let me grab a screwdriver. Okay. 
way easier with the screwdriver. There's that. Back you guys up so you can see the whole door panel, I guess. Alright, so then there was a screw in here as well. That reflector goes. This is already out. It's just sitting there. What the heck? Boom, boom. Again, should be able to just pull the door up. Pop these loose. And then you got the light where your reflector goes. Quarter turn. Pull it out. Boom. Way faster when you uh, have an idea what you're doing from the last one, huh? Okay. I'm gonna grab our five millimeter socket. Take the speaker. What? This was five millimeter on the other side. Well. Okay, so apparently. Oh, either I looked at my hey, socket wrong, or the other side's five and a half as well. But this is a five and a half millimeter. Two, three, four. I don't know if we can. These things need to be replaced. They're nasty. All right, look at that. So much easier than the passenger side because we know what we're doing now. So this, same deal. Just take your harness off. Oh boy. That clip's actually not even clipped in. Okay, so now that that's free, we can go ahead and unbolt this bad boy. Just gonna get them loose. There's four. Okay. Now there's not really anything to see on this side, but I'm gonna let you see it anyway. Just kind of give it a little tap, break it loose. It's been sitting there for 19 years. And fish your harness out. Boom, there it is. Okay. I'll take your new one. Again, super long wire for the harness. I'm not complaining, just observating. I like it. it does make it easier to do things. Okay. And I'm actually, based off what I learned on the last side, going to do something a little more like this. Try not to drop it again. You just spent 120 bucks on these. Oh, we need the hardware pack. So just like the other side, we're going to do the nuts first so we can get the mirror mounted. Here. I'm gonna find the holes. Shove it in. It's easier for some of you than others. Okay. Funny is I lost the exact same nut in the exact same spot on the other side too. Okay, that's one. I will say it is a little bit difficult trying to line this up and push in. It'd almost be beneficial to have somebody on the back side helping you out. And because we lost another one, we're gonna use one of the old ones. All right, so the mirror is in. I'm going to unfold it just like so. Booyah. All right, and much like the other side, grab your, voila.
Okay, so you're going to take your speaker, which is super old and worn out. Stick that back in its place. Make sure that's all good and tight. Boom, boom. Okay, we're just about done. And we can do a test drive, see how she goes. All right, so now you're gonna grab your door panel. I'm not gonna show you, cause I think you know by now. You're gonna do that little light. Get your harnesses, stick them all up and through. Okay. Get yourself over the door lock. Mechanism thingy. Make sure your bottom's in, ready to go, and just push her down. And if she's lined up, she won't get stuck like she just did. There we go. There we go. Even on the back side, even on the front side, everything's even. She's in. Golden. Grab your socket. Do this bottom one, do the top one, whatever, I don't care. Screw that in. Find your other screw. And this one went up here. Just like so. Grab your reflector. Down here, slide the back in. Front one latches in, boom. You're gonna grab your control panel. All goes back in the same way. The connectors only fit on the right connectors, so you're not gonna mess them up, I promise. Uh -huh. Boom. Okay. Again, slide this back one in first, down, and then pop the front one in, just like so. Then we're gonna put our grommets back in, even though they're all kind of ripped up. Oh, I might order some new ones of these just for fun. Can't be more than a dollar or two. I would hope. Okay, this little piece of freaking garbage that doesn't stick on anymore, just throw away. It's too old. Got your plastic part. Should be right there. There we go. That's in. Boom. We are installed. Let me clean up my tools and we'll go for a drive. All right, we are in the truck now. So these are telescoping mirrors, which means they'll go in and out. Uh, it's manual, which is fine. I don't really care. I don't ever see having them out unless I am actually pulling a good sized trailer. Uh, they're manual, they're very stiff. Oh, so that's in, that's all the way out right there. Um, and then put it back in pretty stiff, which is good because you don't want them sliding in and out while you're going. This lens down here is a manual lens. Uh, they may make it power in some vehicles. Uh, my vehicle only has the option for this to be a manual lens, so that's manual. This one is auto uh, or powered, so uh, and I, let's power up the truck and see if they work on both sides. Okay, so I got my buttons right here. Do that one. So that's that's the left mirror. And it does work by power. Heck yeah. And same with this one. Boop. Goes up. I don't know if you can see with the glare, but it does move. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna take a drive and uh, see what we can see how much they vibrate, if they vibrate, and uh, whatnot. All right, guys, I'm braving it. I'm doing 75 and a 50 for a very short amount of time just to show you that the mirrors are not bouncing. They're not vibrating. They are okay. They are uh, uh, making me very, very happy. This was a very, very good purchase in my opinion. I would not hesitate to recommend these to you. I would not hesitate to buy them again should the need arise. I can't speak to longevity right now because, well, I've only had them on for about 15 minutes. <laughs> But they seem durable, they seem good quality, and they, uh, well, they look nice, and yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with this purchase. 
So again, I'm not sponsored. They're not paying me. I didn't get anything for free. They know I don't even have their email address or anything. So this is just an honest review from a guy that gives credit where credit's due. Sweet. Yeah, I'm happy. I like these. Very good. All right, guys. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, thumbs ups are great. They help my stats. Make sure you hit that subscriber button. That's even more important. And even more important than that, make sure you hit that bell so you can watch my videos coming up. Check out my channel. See my videos in the past. I got quite a few of them, uh, and I got a lot more coming. So there's always projects. I always got stuff going on. I have a whole freaking crate of stuff that just needs to be installed. Plus the stuff I keep ordering to install. Um, so support me, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me uh, and eventually I'll be able to afford to do, rather than just repairs, actually do play things and put cool things on. Uh, right now the channel is based off of what I'm doing anyway, but if we can start making some money, I can start doing stuff that you know would be more fun like uh, upgrades and uh stuff like that so smash that subscribe keep watching uh again this was a review and install video of the mutu motu matu midu i don't know it's m-o-t-o-o -O -O brand towing mirrors that i just put on this f-250 uh, it's a 2001. Uh, that part number one more time was X001ZCF0UD. Motos, M O T O O S, towing mirrors. So I am very happy with this product. They did not pay me, they did not help me out, they did not nothing for this. Not that I asked either. I just went on Amazon, found them, ordered them, installed them and I love them. Uh, a lot of people complain about a lot of these mirrors, especially the cheaper ones like these. I would consider them a cheaper price, not a cheaper product. Uh, cheaper price was 120 bucks for the pair on Amazon. And I am very, very happy with the quality. They seem very hardy, very well built, very structurally sound. And a lot of people complain about shaking on the freeway or uh, when you get up to speed uh, and vibrating. I do not have that issue. I just got up to 75 miles an hour and there's no shaking other than what comes with the truck, which is normal because these tires are trashed uh, from the previous owner. I actually have discount. I, uh, I'm going to try the Milestar Patagonias, the mud terrains. No, they're not paying me. They're not helping me out either. And uh, maybe we'll do a review on those at some point as well once they are installed. So, anywho, subscribe, thumbs up, watch more videos. Until next time, peace out.